Hey guys, I've been using this keyboard for over a year now. It's the Glove 80. Um, that's one half, it's the other one, I can't really see it. But yeah, it's my first time ever using a split keyboard, so I thought I'd go through my experience with it and give a little review. So the reason I got this keyboard to begin with is just because it looks fun. <laughs> and I always see the best programmers, like they're out there with the in VM using the split keyboard, you know, like the Kinesis Advantage or whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, I wanted to try getting a split keyboard myself. It's also one of those things that you always see people move to them and you never see people move back. So I was like, you know what, they got to be popular for a reason, so I'll give it a try. I ended up going with the Glove 80 just because I looked at a bunch of reviews and I was like, you know, this one seems good. <laughs> like, you hardly hear anything negative about it. And I wanted to see if it was uh, worth all the hype. So in terms of the pros, first it's very comfortable. Uh, your hands just fit in it nicely. Um, you can see here, here's my hands, they're just chilling in it. And you can access all the keys quite easily without having to move your hands very much. So, so yeah, definitely comfortable and fits my hands. Even though my hands are kind of small. Uh, I guess you don't have much of a frame of reference, but I'm like six foot and they're probably small on for average for a guy my height. Um, I guess one of the major pros for me is that it's just a lot more fun to type. You know, I'm a programmer, I spend all day typing, and the experience of typing with this keyboard is a lot more enjoyable than using a QWERTY keyboard. I still use a QWERTY keyboard when I'm playing games and stuff, and yeah, comparing them, this one's much uh, more comfortable and nicer to use, and especially for programming. Stuff like the arrow keys, uh, you can see here's on one of the keyboards, you can see the arrow keys are at the bottom here. And it's nice because when you're typing, um, you don't have to move your hands to reach the arrow keys. And the brackets are much more convenient. I've only made a few minor rebinds on this keyboard. So um, essentially on the bottom thumb cluster on the right hand, I've changed uh, one of these, these two keys. One of them to be underscore slash hyphen and the other one to be equals or plus. And that's all I've changed and it's been super convenient for programming. I really don't have to move my hands at all. Um, in terms of the other pros, one is battery life as well. So I only keep one side plugged in at all times, which is the the, um, the one that I don't really want to look up to <laughs> much because it's plugged in. And I've only I've never had to charge that side, obviously, because it's always plugged in. But the other side, which I, I genuinely never have plugged in, I've only ever needed to charge it twice, and each time I needed to charge it for like three minutes, or less than that even. And uh, actually, there's a button that like shows you the battery level. Uh, here you go. So what that means is, see how one line's uh, lit up green? That means that that side is full battery, which is the left side. I'm gonna press it again. And the other side is red, which means it's low battery. So this right side is essentially like always like that. It's always on like no battery, but yeah, it just keeps chugging somehow. I don't know how, <laughs> but yeah, the battery is incredible. So you really don't have to worry about charging it very often. And finally, for my last pro, I mean, uh, by the way, I never use the RGB on these keyboards, so um, I can't really comment on that. But, I mean, I've had it lit up before and they look pretty cool, <laughs> but I want to say battery life. But anyway, the yeah final pro is that actually this this uh, right side here, it actually broke after about a year. Um, it started double spacing on the thumb, so every time I press spacebar, it would type spacebar twice, and it was super annoying. I guess I'm putting this in pros, but I guess the negative is that it broke after one year. But... Yeah, I reached out to Mogo support and pretty quickly they were able to ship me a new, um, I don't know what it's called, a new like underlying backbone for the right side and I could uh, switch it around. It didn't take very long, took like, you know, five minutes to do and uh, it was working good as new. And yeah, they didn't, it was, it was a pretty simple process and the support replied quickly and they didn't, you know, hassle me too much about it, so that was good. In terms of the negatives, um, firstly, it's a bit of a learning curve. Like normally I type around 160 words per minute on a regular keyboard. And when I remember the first time I ever switched to this keyboard, I'd only type six words per minute. <laughs> and that's gone up a lot now, and I'm now about the same speed on both. Actually, typing on both keyboards, QWERTY and regular, it kind of has made me slower on QWERTY. Um, I guess because your brain has to adjust back and forth. So yeah, be aware that you probably will become slower at typing on your regular keyboard if you have a split one as well. Um, the other cons are, I mean, the build quality, it does feel kind of flimsy, like a lot of people, and it, it's not actually flimsy, I don't think, but it's plastic. A lot of people will come and touch the keyboard and be like, wow, it doesn't doesn't have any heft to it because it's just like a pretty like soft piece of plastic. Um, yeah, it's pretty light. I guess being light is a pro. Um, 
another con is that it's not that portable. I mean, like, the keyboard itself isn't that big. Like, here's half of it. But it comes with a travel case, which I don't have on me here. But the travel case is actually massive. It's like a briefcase. It's, like, this big. And it's, like, it's really not that convenient to carry around at all. <laughs> it's just carrying around a briefcase just for a keyboard. Um, another con is that the Bluetooth is kind of finicky. The few times I've had to use it, it's been kind of annoying to set up, to be honest. And uh, annoying to switch between things, but... That's also because I don't use it regularly, so maybe if you use it regularly, it's not too bad. And then, yeah, probably the biggest con that I find super annoying is that when I'm typing, say I'm typing right like this, over the course of the day, this, like, right keyboard will just, like, go more and more like this. And then you have to keep adjusting it. So, yeah, it doesn't really stay in place too well, uh, which is pretty annoying when you're typing a lot. Um, yeah, so my overall thoughts are, um, I mean, the keyboard's very expensive, but... If you're someone that types all day and does it for a job, I highly recommend getting uh, the Glove 80. Um, mainly just because it's fun. <laughs> I mean, that's the biggest pro of all. It really just makes uh, the typing experience more enjoyable. Um, and if it's something you're doing all day, you may as well enjoy it. So I thought I'd do a bit of a... Oh, my notes. Embarrassing. <laughs> but here's a little demo. So I'll put the camera down so you can see what it looks like. Bit of a blunder there in the middle, but whatever. So that's just an example typing with it. You can see hands don't move around at all, and it's super fun that way. <laughs> like, yeah, obviously fun is subjective, but I'm telling you, it's just fun when you don't have to move your. You should have a person that likes to use stuff like Vim, where you're trying to touch the mouse as uh, rarely as possible. Um, I highly recommend it. And yeah, another great thing is um, programming. So stuff like writing a for loop, just so smooth as butter, I'll go back down here, but like, you can see there, I didn't move the hands at all, and that for loop is just pumped out like it's nothing, so, yeah, love the keyboard, highly recommend, <laughs> but it's pretty expensive, so fair enough if you don't get it, that's all, thanks for watching.